All right, Facebook. Uh, again, this is Michael McKee, the Knife Guy at H and H. I am here with another famous knife guy. This is Michael Cleveland um, of Half Life Knives. Um, Mike Special. Uh, he actually got his start with us. He's been uh, in our counter since his first knife that he made, uh, and that was what three years ago, four years ago, three years. Ago. Yeah. Um, so Mike has also been published in Blade Magazine several times, and. Um, with some really cool different things like that coconut handle one was the first one. Um, so that was that was a really cool knife uh, a couple years ago, or about a year ago. A year ago, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk about Mike's knives and then kind of hand it over to him to explain some more. One of the things we actually sell at the store and we try to keep them in um, are his pry bars. These things are so cool. And they're about what, 120 bucks for the Damascus? Yeah. Um, so it's just a simple pry bar, but a lot of the problems we have with knives, and guys bring stuff in for repair all the time, is they break their knives because they're trying to pry with it. You can throw something small, simple like this in your pocket, and it solves that. You use a knife to cut stuff with, that's its tool's purpose, and then use your pry bar for other things like staples and whatever you want. Um, but uh, I've also got, now this is the knife you made for your wife, right? Yes, that's my wife. Go ahead and kind of tell us a little bit about it. Uh, this is this is actually a CPM steel, CPM M4X, which which is probably my favorite go-to steel as far as edge retention and abrasion resistance. Uh, the the steel is, is just phenomenal. You can't can't beat it. Uh, the, these are some custom scales that that uh, that I had made to go on this, but this. This is what I consider to be a premium knife steel. Yeah, yeah. Now, M4, that's what most of the cutting competition knives are made out of. Um, yeah, we, we have Blade Sport here. They're doing this crazy cutting stuff. Uh, most of the knives that they were using were made out of the same steel as this guy. Um, it's fantastic stuff. Now, and now the, this is your mini reaper pattern, right? Yes. Now, you don't make this anymore. I, I do not make this pattern anymore. No, no, but uh, that was one of the first knives we brought into the store to sell for you. Correct. Yeah. It's awesome stuff. Um, show us some of your new stuff. What do you have coming on? Well, uh, this is a, a new prototype of my Tack Hawk. Uh, this version is, is in .300 A2 tool steel, where the, the final version, I plan on it being in .300 M4X as well. Uh, I, I'm always trying to change what I'm doing and reinvent what I do. Uh, this is is some some custom flat Damascus that I get made for me by Will Bertram, and then then I get it in and and I uh, I do my grinds on it. But it's phenomenal stuff. Now, what's the handle made out on this one? The the scales on this were made by Rob Carper. They're they're actually prickly pear. Uh, they're they're gorgeous. They're hard to find, and Rob's one of the few guys where where I can get them. Yeah. Rob does amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, now, something about this knife. This is one that was entered in the uh, uh, best of show uh, hunting category. Um, it was one of the front runners. This is just fantastically made knife. Now, what did you make? What's the purpose behind a knife like this? Just mainly this this knife can can bridge the gap between tactical and hunting. Uh, it's got a fuller belly, but it's still got that nice sharp point for stabbing. Uh, the, the grinds on it lend towards a stronger tip because they're beveled in. Basically, this is, this is called a nightmare grind or a multi-grind. Now, one of the things that kind of set Mike apart from other makers is he uses full thick stock. Um, if you look at the spine of that knife, how thick that is, you're not going to mess this knife up. This is built like a tank, but if you look at the edge, that profile is so thin that it still cuts like a much thinner knife. Um, and that's, that's something that Mike does just perfect, and that's one of the reasons we carry him. His attention to detail and quality is it's fantastic. Um, so, anyways, um, and you got anything else that may be in the works? Coming uh, down the pipeline? Right now, I am working on the CAD end of my my flippers. Uh, hopefully sometime in the next month, month and a half, I'll have those on the ground uh, and, and available for purchase. Uh, 
once once I get that initial amount of flippers out, there's another few designs that, that'll be following that up. Now, you just came out with something else from Cat, right? The, your, your knuckles? Yeah. 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 Uh, This is just something that I've been playing around with. Uh, and we just did a run of four of these, which are available. So, man, that's just awesome. Um, yeah, H&H, &H, uh, we, we plan on having a few of those flippers when they come in stock. Um, we're we're going to get three of them, three. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll be the first place to get them. So H&H, &H, uh, behind the counter. I'm Michael McKee. This is Mike Cleveland. Mike and Mike. <laughs> we will see you guys soon. Thank you.